Okay, so this is um, a video on skinning or themes, uh, how to reskin Reaper. So basically, um, what you do is you go here, stash.reaper.fm. And you browse the themes. Um, you can browse classic themes. You can put uh, things like flat. And you'll get some kind of flat themes. You can put things like blue, and you'll get some blue themes. So I haven't downloaded a new theme in a while, so let's have a look at this one. OK, that looks interesting. Uh, sorry, that was a bit quick. So here, download. You download the theme. And then this is what I recommend is that you have... I have a folder called Studio Library, and it's got all my plugins, installers, um, reverb impulses, etc., etc. Um, some white noise files, all, all different kind of things. Uh, in my Reaper installs folder, there's my folder called Reaper Themes, and I just save that file in there. So then here it is. This is what we've just downloaded. And you just open it. And there you go. You've re-skinned Reaper. And now I can do that again. I can go back, open another one, and reskinned it. What also will happen now is in options, themes, uh, what was the one I just downloaded? It was called to, to Jana 2016. Uh, it will show up here, options, themes, Jana 2016. So that's what we just downloaded. Um, and that's it. Uh, it took me a while to work out how to do this, um, which is why I'm sharing it. And somebody asked me, uh, to do, do a quick video on this as well. Um, so these are the ones that I use a lot. Um, Apollo 4. Looks like this. Really, really nice kind of chunky looking, pretty decent metering. Um, I like the, um, the in-out receive send is really clear. Mm -mm -mm. that's your envelopes that's your effects this turns effects on and off so if I load up um, an EQ uh, well that sounded good um, this turns um, this, this button here turns off all of your EQs all of your plugins whatever plugin you have in in there, okay. Um, <laughs> so I use that one a lot, and then the other one I use a lot is Compact for when you've got loads and loads and loads and loads of tracks. Uh, it looks, it's, 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 um, it's pretty bare bones which can be good because that can really help you concentrate on uh you know the work you're trying to do um it's good for mixing and then the other one i use a lot is mk ultra uh i really like this one because the metering in the master is very clear and easy to read and these the metering here is easy to read as well um it's nice and wide. Uh, I think I've tweaked the mixer panel to low. I think normally I'm right clicking here. Yeah. Uh, set track layout, mixer panel, default. Yeah, it looks a bit different, which I don't like. Um, so just set that back to mixer. So what you do here is if you, if you select all, 
then you can change the track layout to that, which has got a really big meter. In fact, I've got a feeling that metering is probably important to the person that designed this theme. Um, back to low, that's the one I like. Um, basically, that's it. I hope that's been useful. Thank you very much.